Canada has always been seen as a split nation. You got Canada and his pesky little sister Quebec. And we can't blame them for all the bitter feelings they have towards the British through the Battle of the Plains of Abraham and the conscription crises in both world wars. What really sparked French separatism was after World War II. Now Canada was having good times. Economy was booming and people were spending more money on entertainment and non-necessities. But all came to an end when party pooper Jean Lesage comes into the frame. Now don't get me wrong, he wasn't all bad. He brought great change in wealth to the province of Quebec through the new education system and the nationalization of private power companies. But he went overboard when he signifies his intentions of signing an agreement with France. Now, it's like a little brother or sister trying to act all grown up. Sometimes they're cute, but sometimes you just want to strangle them. So, Ottawa took care of all this, but this started the rise of extremist groups like the FLQ, the Front de Libération du Québec. When you are named as the level as groups like Al-Qaeda, as terrorists, you've got a serious problem. In October 1970, they kidnapped two members of the government, James Cross and Pierre Laporte. They kept one as hostage for ransom, and they killed one. Now, he didn't just kill them, they put his dead body in a car trunk and gave directions to the police to find the dead body. Now, this is the first political assassination since Thomas Darcy McGee 102 years earlier. That's when Canada was one year old. Now, Canada's favorite man, Pierre Trudeau, he takes action and asks the public to just watch him as he invokes the War Measures Act and brings in the military against his own country. Eventually, this leads to the arrest of FLQ members, but now this leads the way to other separatist parties. The Parti Québécois was elected into the provincial government in 1976, and the Bloc Québécois was created as a pro-independent party in 1982. Now, I don't know if it's the lack of enthusiasm or just the outright lack of intelligence, but these parties just don't have the same spark that Jean Lesage had. For example, Quebec wants to separate from Canada, but still use its military and its money. Now think about it, they want to use Canadian stuff, but they're not Canadian. Now that's logic, but we also have the Bloc Québécois political platform of the most recent election. We have one, making Quebec a sovereign nation, two, getting more seats in the parliament in Quebec, okay, and three, make the party better. Now, with this political platform, the chances of them are of actually achieving their goal are the same as I don't know, Stephen Harper doing Gangnam Style on TV? Stephen Harper Style! Harper Style! But I digress. Canadians have always been split on whether Quebec should separate from this country or not. Two referendums have been held in 1980 and 1995 on whether they should separate. In 1980, the no votes were 59.96%, and in 95, 50.58%. That's 1%, the same amount of brain that Harper's government uses. Overall, the FLQ crisis was the spark that began many separatist movements that still exist today. And let's face it, it's because of them that even though Canada may look like one big country on a map, Quebec and the rest of our nation actually are conjoined twins. We're physically stuck, but we're mentally split in two.